Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. My name is Norman Meir and I'm a certified IPC Master Instructor for Soldering Skills. Today's tip is in the installation and soldering of a 1206 surface mounted resistor. We'll be creating the solder joints to the IPC 610 Class 1, 2, and 3 target conditions. I'll be using a .015 eutectic no-clean solder along with an external 302 no-clean flux. The soldering tip needs to be approximately 50 to 75 percent of the width of the pad area, just like it shows here. This is a chisel tip. It works really nice. It's about 60 percent. The site has already been cleaned and prepared using Kim wipes and alcohol. This will make that solder pads are properly prepared for soldering with all the contaminants removed. Next thing you want to do is turn on your soldering iron so that it will be heating up to proper operating temperature. This will all depend upon thermal mass and thickness of the board of the temperature of the soldering tip that you're going to be using. Next thing we want to do is apply flux by using a squeegee bottle outfitted with a directional needle. Just like that, a little dab will do you. You don't need a lot. Okay. After that, assure that your tip is clean. Then the next thing you're going to do is come down, hold the part into place, center, then come in with your tip, hit the pad, slide all the way into the part, and slide back out. Just that easy. Now you've got it tacked into place. Now that we have our board rotated so we can have easy access to the side, what we're going to do is lay our solder about 75% of the width of the part. That's all you will need. And then all you have to do is slide it in, 75%, hit the pad, slide it in and out, just that simple. Now that we have our board rotated the other direction, you got to come back and apply a little bit of flux right to the edge because you've already been there once and there is no flux left there. Again, lay your solder about 75% of the width, hit the pad, slide in, slide out. You want to get in, get out. It only takes about a second to do this job. The next thing you want to do is thoroughly clean your part, just as it is shown here. What we're looking for here is a nice, good quality solder joint. Wet it all the way out to the edge of the pads and in a concave fashion all the way to the top of the part. As you see here on both sides, exactly the same. This is Norman Meir with BEST.